Hi Denise, go straight through. Hi Cheryl, you got a drink? Brilliant, lovely to see you. Is that Swedish? That's lovely. I've seen you downstairs, it's huge. Oh, that's just the nanny's knockabout room. Come and have a little nosy. A little tour. Hi Francoise. Right, we've got Clive's study, bedrooms, junk rooms, bathrooms. Oh, up, up, up and away. Come through. This is my room. Well, I call it the snug, actually, but we did have 24 ladies in here drinking Pilates last week. What's that? Very good for tums and bums. Come through. Right, we've got lovely, lovely piano here. And this is the conservatory, which looks out to the children's play area. It costs £5,000. I want to say 5000 I mean 8000 Don't tell Clive. <laughs> Oh, Cheryl, are you crying? Oh, no. Are you crying because I've got such a big house? No. <laughs> You're crying because I've got such a big house? Yes. Nice. I might just go to the toilet and get the tissue. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got one upstairs, downstairs, <laughs> there, and out the back. Actually, you might be awful. You might want to use the one in the garden. <laughs> Hello, James. No, everybody for savoury snacks. Savoury snacks? Chris. I know what this is all about. worrying about your financial future. I know it's over, but there, there's over, isn't there? And, and then there's over. I'm thinking of the wrong over. We are actually much more compatible than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> You know, we've been going out for about, I don't know, a month now. So I mean, about that, yeah. And uh, I was just sort of wondering where you kind of see this relationship going. OK. Uh... I, just, I know it's difficult for you to talk about, you know, because you're a bloke. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, just, I, I don't, I don't want any guarantees or anything like that, because I know it wouldn't be fair. Um, I suppose I just I want to know what your intentions are. Ha <laughs> ha. Well. Obviously, you know, basically, I want to see your tits. <laughs> that's, that's my intentions towards you. I want to see your tits. Uh, right. Uh, OK, so <clears throat> the, uh, the compulsion for you in this relationship is, is purely, well, physical at this stage. Well, well actually, well, no, no, that's fine. That's actually very, very healthy, and I'd be extremely worried if, if, if it wasn't like that. But it, it's not just about my body, though, is it? It's not like the whole thing. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not... It isn't that. You oh, know, it's oh. not that I want your body. All right, so it's more than that. It's... Well, no, it's less than that. I just want to see your tits. <laughs> so, um, you, there's no sort of emotional involvement at all. Um, you don't really want a proper relationship. No commitment, long-term... It's, it's not on your agenda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've got no problem with eventually getting married, having kids and all that. Right, well, it's all right then. <laughs> but not with you. I just want to see you. Just, would you, look, would you stop saying that? God! <sighs> look, if that's all you want, I mean, what's all this been about? What do you mean? Well, you know, lunch, dinner, flowers, little gifts. I mean, what, what am I supposed to think? Why are you, what are you doing it for? Well, you have to. Otherwise, you'd never get to see any tits at all. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. I was going to chuck it down in a minute. I know. I'm sure I'm going to fall over and hurt my knee or something. I'm not sure I can walk that far, let alone run. Oh, uh, well, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a bit of fun. Actually, I'm just going to pop my shoes off. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Because you're going to go to barefoot? No, no. I'm just going to pop these on. Uh, running spot. Yeah, yeah. I just found them in the back of the car. God knows how long we've been there. Um, 
so... Twinkle. Twinkle, lovely. And Twinkle is a very small cat. Kitten. Okie dokie, and what seems to be wrong with them? Um, with Twinkle? It's just a bit under the weather. Yeah? Yeah. How did that happen? Then? I don't know, that's what I brought him for. Right. Okay, well, let's have a little look at. Look, I don't know if you just slip her trousers off and. Uh, what? If you can just unzip the, unzip the trousers and have a bit of a look. Um, not wearing any. <laughs> right. Okay, if you put her, put her down. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, looks like it probably just wants to blow its nose. Has it got a cold? Or... Uh, doesn't know where it's going. Look, doesn't know that's the edge. It's got absolutely no idea where it is. Has it? No. None at all. I think it's blind as one of those flying mice things. But yeah. <laughs> so what I suggest you do is. Um, Take it down to an optician and get it fitted for a pair of glasses. <laughs> I don't know how they'd attach the glasses to its head. Maybe an elastic band or something. All right. Thanks. This is a picture of a dog. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> La cupulella che vi si era alzata Passa scampanianna per tu leda Con maruappa per te fa guarda Tu fa l'americano, americano, americano Se da me ti do fa tanto Tu vuoi vivere alla moda Ma se vedi whisky e soda Hello, my name's Kate. Um, the most obvious thing about me is that I always face north. Um, it's not a religious thing, a medical thing. Um, it's just a, a geographical habit. <laughs> um, that's not all. Um, I, I love the cinema, um, especially at Henley, where the screen faces almost exactly due south. And uh, theatre, I like plays. Um, I've seen certain aspects of several good plays recently. <laughs> um, quite romantic. Um, I'd like a man who can hold my hand, um, especially when I'm crossing the road. Um, and uh, I'm not really a party animal. Um, meeting people's a little bit hit and miss, really. <laughs> um, well, really, I, I just want to meet a nice, a nice friendly man who, who faces south, or, or doesn't mind facing south, especially for... Um, sort of talking and kissing purposes, etc. Um, it'd be really great if um, he could have his own car, at least until I get my own license back. <laughs> Maybe someone who can tell me what a sunset looks like. If Adam and Claire ate whelks on a Tuesday, thence took a stroll along the beach putting four pebbles in their pocket each, then took two separate trains to Bangor with pockets full of sand, how many seagulls were on the roof of the Car Shulton train when they arrived? If you think you know the answer to this, do give me a call. Peak rates begin at £2 per minute, cheap rate, 48 pence. Let me know if you're A, in love with me, B, would like to be in love with me, C, don't love me at all. <laughs> I live in Bagshot. I like bogling. <laughs> okay, uh, Yeah, all right. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. For your sake, I'm prepared to give it another go. <laughs> and to be honest, I still do find it very. Very attractive. What's the matter, boy? You lost? Where's your mummy? Oh, you want me to follow you? Okay, leave the door.
I can't go much further. Turn it on. All right. Thank you, mate. What's that? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> 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 Take the batteries out, we can leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best. Mm. <laughs> right, I have seen you before, Tracy, yeah. for yeah. some leg pain. That's right. Yeah. How is that? Yeah, bad, yeah. Oh, right, give give yeah. that time. And the depression and black moods? Yeah, quite bad still, obviously right. at work. Right. Getting a lot of name calling. Give me a lot of tension on my back and flu, and I've got suspected Veruca. Let's leave the Veruca. I think you're ready for my hot stones. Yeah. It's a brand new treatment from Iceland. Yeah. We're very, very excited about it here. I am the pioneer, as you may say. I'd like to step this way. Right, yeah. We're going to be laying these hot stones onto yeah, your no. back. Yes, yes, just wait. Wait to release your toxins. Are they, are they quite hot, then? No, the brazier is hot. The stones are actually just warm. So we'd like to pop up onto the couch here. Right, just pop onto the couch. Because what I really, what I was really imagining was like getting a bit of a massage. Just and pop onto the couch there. Flowers. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> So, I really want to do my stones. Lie, lie still. OK, we'll be pulling your jumper up over your head, like that. And then we're popping the hot stones onto your back, one at a time. Deep breaths, when they, when they touch your back, to release your toxins. First stone coming down right now. <laughs> Hold still now. Shh, shh, shh. Now bite onto your fist if it's painful. Shh, no noise. If it's burning, it's working. And an extra stone on. Breathing into the stone, breathing in, and holding still, and breathing out. Lovely. Can you smell your flesh? Mm. Oh, no. I'd be pleased to know you're not a witch. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Right, Tracy, you need to promise me that when you get home, you're not going to crane your neck round and look at your back, ever. Take a couple of weeks off work. Put the bandage on there to soothe it down. Turn it the, the scab. Okay. St. Thomas's Hospital, please. Yes, I've got a brazier here. brought me that. What's the matter with it? He's hurt his leg. Has he? And uh, how? How did that happen? Bruno trod on it. Yeah? Who's Bruno? A big dog. Oh, right. OK, well, I'll just have a bit of a look at it. I have to um, try and get him out of that old pie. That's you shouldn't do that. Well, how do you know? I know. Mm-hmm. 
How old are you? Eight. Right. Well, I'm 28, so I think I probably know more about this kind of thing than you. Mm -hmm. How many animals' names do you know, for example? I know eight. I know twelve. Do you? Yes. Right. OK, well, <clears throat> in that case, it's probably best if you... If you take it away and deal with it. Cracked. What's all that um, crusted stuff? Oh, it's just cradle cap. It's so they all get it. It's all yeah. right. And yeah. the red yeah. thing on the eye? Oh, stalk mark. It fades. It's okay. It's not oh. a problem. Oh, oh, oh it's, it's leaking. leaking there. It's leaking. What's that? Milk. So what's it do? What's it do? What's it do? What's it do? Well, nothing yet. It's only two weeks old. <laughs> God, you must be devastated. No. I'm really happy. It's brilliant. I'm so, so happy. I can't tell you. Have you seen the new James Bond film? <laughs> no? That's great! It's oh, fantastic. Mad. You've it's got to see brilliant. it. Yeah. 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 Hello. Um, a little bit about myself, my day. Um, being an ex dancer, I like to get up at six o'clock for some gentle yoga and some herb tea. Then I cycle off to Stow in the World to pick up some fresh fruit and trawl through the papers, pasting my favourite article into a little journal. Um, <laughs> then I debate for a local arts programme called Vivacious. Um, it's very contemporary, it's just the Cotswold scene. Then a little bit of salad. Um, cycle off to see dear old mum, crazy as a lamb. <laughs> then I like to come home for some really hot, deep, thrusting sex with preferably a Norwegian physiotherapist. Um, I like it every way, but mostly hard, hard and deep with lots of expletives where I get really cross. <laughs> then a um, little snack and pedikins. Yeah, that's me. So um, looking forward to hearing about your day and seeing if we can make it our day. <laughs> Just tell that you're 
commitment. <laughs> but I don't mind that, you know. Maybe you love me too much. <laughs> Your shirt is satin, you look so Latin, that makes me nervous, cause I don't know what to say. I got some buella et terno, et ergo ubi quellavo, not sure what that means, but it seems to sound okay. The temperature is rising here, I'm soaking up the atmosphere, lemons on the lemon tree. The temperature is rising here I'm soaking up the atmosphere Please do not let go of me I bruise very easily Did you want anything from the shop? Um, cold drink and some fags. No. What was that again? Uh, cold drink and some fags. What was the first thing? Cold drink. And the second? Some fags. OK, so you want? Cold drink. And some fags. You want fags? Yeah. yeah. OK. Cold drink. And some fags. They only had the new international Bible. <laughs>